What is up everybody and welcome back to another video. I am The Hobbyist and today we are going to be upgrading the front steering servo in my Force RC Hammerjaw. This is a 2.2 crawling beast. It's got four wheel steer but the front servo which was a cheap Amazon 25 kg servo finally bit the dust. So I'm going to be upgrading. I decided to splurge a little bit and I got this. This is a JX7032 brushless high torque metal geared servo. It's high torque high speed, has a brushless motor, uh, and it's high voltage, which is great because the rear steer servo is also high voltage. So I just took the servo out of the case and let's take a look at it. Now this is full metal construction. There's no plastic on it whatsoever. As you can see, it says brushless motor, high voltage. Uh, it's got a 25 tooth servo spline, really, really nice quality. Uh, I just tried to turn the Thing. it just can't turn if you can see on the camera there it says high voltage 7032 also in the package is the usual bag of servo parts we've all seen these it's the plastic servo horns the grommets all that stuff but i already have a, a aluminum clamp servo horn so i'm not going to be using that uh same spline so just to take a quick look at the specs of this servo just going down the line it says brushless motor has an operating voltage between 6 and 8.4 volts at 6 volts it is 0 0.09 seconds at 7.4 volts 0 0.07 seconds and at 8.4 volts 0 0.06 seconds the torque at 6 volts is 23 kilograms per centimeter or 364 ounce inches at 8.4 volts it is 33 kilograms per centimeter at 7.4 volts it is 32.5 kilograms per centimeter which is 451 ounce inches of torque and then it gives you the dimensions and the weight so overall it looks like it's going to be a really good servo to put in this truck so i'm going to get it installed and show you guys some steps along the way all right so i got the servo installed um it's not connected to the actual steering yet uh, as you can see that's still free but i did get the servo plugged in and centered and all that and it is working uh just fine so there's the rear steer as you can see but then the front steer it's much quieter Hey guys, this is me talking after the fact when I'm editing this video. I'm sorry, but the audio cut out, so I have to do the rest of the video in voiceover. There's some things that I mentioned talking about the sound. All I was trying to explain was that the front servo is much quieter than the rear servo. So that's what I was trying to explain, but sorry about the uh, audio issue right there. Anyway, so I got the steering hooked up now, so the servo is connected. So uh, steering it back and forth... Um, Everything's connected again, so you can see it's quite fast, uh, and I've got it at full speed on 7.4 volts, so it's, you know, 0 0.07 seconds to uh, 60 degrees, and as you can see, just comparing that to the rear steer servo, it is quite a bit quicker, um, yeah, just a whole lot faster, so that's definitely going to make a difference uh, overall. Okay, so now I got all the wires cleaned up, so I bolted the receiver box back together. I've got all the wires zip tied where it needs to be so it's all clean again. But as you can see, front steer working very, very nice, uh, very, very quick, which isn't really important for a crawler, but it's faster than the rear steer servo, as you can see. Um, and I might even dial that down, I'm not even sure. But I'll keep it uh, as it is for now and we'll see how it goes. I'm really, really excited about the torque because the servo that used to be on this truck, the cheap Amazon 25 kg, uh, for those of you that don't know, 25 kgs is supposed to be in the latter part of 270 ounce inches, if I remember correctly, and it was putting out closer to 200 ounce inches. So it wasn't near as powerful, and I guess that's what you get, you know, for buying cheap Amazon servos, but they're still good for what they are. But this JX servo is definitely a much nicer servo. But anyway, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit that like button, subscribe, and leave a comment in the section below for what videos you'd like to see next. Uh, if you want to see the full specs of this truck completely, I have a link to my website down below where you can check it out, the full specifications page. But that's all for today, everybody, and I'll see you in the next one.